Hello and welcome to the Carl Bleming channel. I thought I'd make this video about a new camera that I got. And I got this for free basically because I, my credit card has a rewards program where as you use the card uh, you build up these uh, scorecard points. And if you get enough points you can uh, go to a website and pick out various types of merchandise and then they'll just ship it to you for free. So I thought I'd get a video camera. Not that I need another camera. I'm, I'm recording this, by the way, with my Canon SX-160IS. Um, but I figured maybe I can just keep it in the car. And if I don't have another camera on me and I think of something that I want to record, maybe I'll just take it out and use it for that. Uh, but this is it. It's a uh, Bell & Howell video camera model DV200 HD okay well here's the box a list of features here so there's a 2 inch LCD display records in 720p video uh, 4x digital zoom optical zoom is better of course but uh, let's see, built-in LED light. I believe that's that's a light that uh, that's here, sort of like a white light. Um, let's see, five megapixel resolution. Take it takes SD cards up to 32 gig. Um, includes imaging, editing, CD, which I'm probably not going to use. Um, let's see, what else? USB cable, AV output cable, it takes three AAA batteries. All right, well, let's, uh, let's see what's in the box. All right, so here's the camera itself. Here's the CD with the software on it. Magics. From Bell & Howell. Your source for quality video technology. Uh, owner's manual. And I took a look through this and it's it's kind of uh, one of these where the, the text is badly translated from another language. Notice one place where it keeps referring to the memory card. One place here it calls it the mommy card. <laughs> Somebody didn't, didn't proofread this very well. Um, let's see. Registration. Uh, congratulations on your reward. We thank you for your loyalty. Scorecard. Um, let's see. What else? Ooh, a pouch. I don't know what kind of material this is. It's not leather. It's not cloth. Some kind of fuzzy plastic, I think. It's a uh, SD card, two gigabytes. This is a USB cable, mini USB to the regular USB. This must be the the AV cable. So first impressions. It does look a little cheap, you know, it's like the entire thing is plastic. Even this this metal part is kind of a cheap plastic. This is a better, this black is a better quality. Sometimes I wonder if the, uh, the piece of glass over the lens is actually plastic or not. Anyway, here's the LED light. Um, on the bottom you've got a mount, and the SD card slot. On the back, there's a little thing you can remove here, which is sort of bendable and rubbery on the bottom. This looks like something that's going to be the first thing to break. But uh, you've got the USB port and the AV port. Um, this is a, sort of a hand strap here. And this is the battery compartment. And batteries were included. I actually put them in there before I showed you everything in the package, but they're just like a no-name brand of battery. 
probably from China or wherever this was made. Yep, it was made in China. Okay, what else? A little speaker grill. Um, this is the record button. And then this thing flips out. It does not flip around like this. It just flips out and back. So you cannot monitor yourself as you're recording yourself. Um, let's see. There's the screen. We've got sort of a zoom in and out buttons here and a play button. Uh, power switch. This one has a little trash can on it. This one says mode and this one says menu. Then here's a sort of a button for navigating up and down in the menus, I suppose. Okay, well let's, uh, let's flip it on. And, oh, it said no card. Okay, well I didn't put the card in yet, but... Well, it does have an image on the screen. I guess that's good. Let's hit the record button. No card, so you can't do anything without a memory card. All right. <laughs> Has to play a little tune when you turn it on and off. Okay, well, let's put the card in. Okay, clicked into place. Oh, it said no card. If I hit record, no card. I just put a card in there. What happens if I close this? It stays on. It doesn't shut off when you close it. Let's see. How about the light? Okay. That works. Maybe this card is defective. I do have another one I can throw in there. Well, I found this a 128 megabyte card, which is a much lower memory, but um, it's a sand disk, so maybe, maybe this one will work. It says it'll, you can fit up to 32 gigabyte card in here. Okay. Oh, it did not say no card. Okay, so let's hit the record button. And the, um, the time index is going up, so it must be recording. Screen. Kind of get, it gives you an indication of what you're looking at, but the screen is not very high quality. I don't know if this is coming out in this camera. Now, how can I play it? Can I play it back? Oh, mode. Maybe I should read the manual. Well, anyway. I think what I'll do is I'll go outside and just walk around with it and see if I can get some footage. And I'll be right back. Hello and welcome to the Carl Bleming channel.
Okay, well that was fun, but uh, 128 megabytes. You can only record about a uh, minute and 20 seconds of video. So that didn't last long. I gotta get a bigger, bigger card for it, I guess. Maybe I'll get a cheap, like a, like a 4 gig card or something for this thing. Anyway, let's look at the menu. So, oh, movie size. Doesn't seem to give you any options. Metering, white balance, effects. Oh, black and white, sepia, negative, red, green, and blue. About movie size, what are my options there? Oh, you can do standard definition, which would probably give me more uh, uh, time on the card. Let's see. Date stamp off. Oh, and those are the only options. Oh, wait, there's a toolbar here. Sounds. You can probably turn off the chime when it starts up. Um, power frequency, 60 hertz. Okay. Date and time. Language. TV out. Defaults to NTSC. Format. Okay, let's format the drive. That was quick. Yep. This uh, shows you how much time you have left on your card. It says a minute and 25 seconds. Okay, well I'm not going to try out the USB cable because honestly it's just it's easier for me just to pop the card out and put it into the card reader on my computer. So this is Depending on how the quality, I haven't looked at the footage yet, but depending on how the quality is, maybe I'll just keep this in my car in case I run across something that's interesting to take a video of. Um, I did find it on Amazon, and they're selling it for $44.95 currently. Uh, and interestingly, uh, there's one customer review, and that person also got his camera from a credit card rewards program. So I don't know if they're actually selling very many of these, but uh, I, I don't think it's worth 45 bucks, maybe 20. I don't know. You know, if it weren't just all plastic, I mean, it's function. I guess it's functional, but uh, just does not scream quality. But uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video if anyone's interested after I use it for a while. But uh, that is my initial review of the. Bell & Howell DV 200 HD pocket video camera. Thank you for watching. Well, I thought I'd try one more thing because the last footage I got from the camera was with me holding it and it was very shaky. So I thought I'd try the camera on a tripod see if this is any better. And I'm also outside with a lot of light, so I just want to see if this uh, picture is any less any less grainy or any better. So, let me, so please let me know what you think of this camera. Uh, let me know if uh, you think I got ripped off, even though I got it for free. So, okay, thank you very much.